Today's tip is one of the most important you'll pick up if you give longer online presentations. Now by longer, I mean anything more than 90 minutes. Look, I get it. The whole purpose of this series was to give you what we call the change of pace or change of direction so that you keep people interested. Having them involved in the chat box, for example, sending them to breakout rooms, doing polls, they, they are involved. And yes, they can turn their audio and their picture off and they can go do whatever they need to do. But when they do that, I, I find that most people feel a little bit guilty or they feel like they're doing something wrong they're going to get caught and they, they don't want to feel that you're adding stress to them when you put them in a position where they feel like they've got to break away from your webinar so how do you solve that problem you tell them ahead of time that they're going to get breaks now here are five rules that i use when i put together my longer presentations number one is no more than 45 minutes between breaks so i'll get 45 minutes of material do everything that you've seen in this series so far and then i send them off to the break number two tell them ahead of time you are going to get breaks periodically we know that you have to go to the restroom maybe grab a snack uh, check emails uh, deal with issues in the home uh, this is being recorded during covid so a lot of people are still working from home so i tell them that up front the third rule is no more than 10 to 15 minutes per break Anything longer than that, and they may get distracted by something and never come back to you. Now, I like to use odd numbers, so 13 minutes or 11. It's just different, and it sticks in their mind. Number four is I put up an online timer so they know they can watch. They can come back to the screen. If they have to step away, they'll see exactly how much time before the break is over. I like to put music behind it, something that's upbeat, so they feel good and positive. The fifth tip is probably the most important for this idea, and that is to give them a compelling reason to come back on time. You and I have been to these events, even live events, where we're sent off to break and we're really not sure what's coming up next and maybe we'll kind of get back to it when we feel like. So here is an example of how to do that. In my storytelling workshops, I'll tell people, all right, before you go to break, I want you to, to keep this in mind, come back right on time because what we're going to dive right into is one of the most important and impactful parts of storytelling that most presenters leave out. It's the key to increasing the number of people who take action, who buy into your message, or maybe buy your product, service, or idea. Uh, we've routinely seen people increase their impact 27% or more by this one tip. So make sure you come back on time because we're gonna dive right into it. Now, if you were attending my storytelling workshop and you heard that right before you went to a break, wouldn't you want to know what is this key element? Uh, how can I increase my influence and impact by 27%? Yep, you're going to be back on time. So there are five of the top ideas on how to increase the attention and interest in your workshop. Take the pressure off your audience. Let them know that they're going to get breaks, when they're going to get them, how long they'll be, and what the benefit is of coming back from the break. Use these and watch your interest increase. I look forward to seeing you in tip number 25.